Hey what's up guys and welcome back. So as in the previous video we decided that we will be using Elementor Page Builder for this particular course. In this video we will be working up with the basics of Elementor. Now Elementor is quite confusing when you start learning it but as you progress with this course you will find that Elementor is the easiest plugin out there in the market. Now there are three things that confuses beginners the most and those are sections, columns and elements. And Elementor revolves around these three things. So let's go ahead and let's take a look at it. Let's take a basic structure of Elementor Page Builder, which is this. So now here is basically the basic boilerplate of Elementor. And you can see that I have made some squares and this is right here. Now this blue square that is right here will be considered as a section and S represents that. The maroon square right here will be considered as a column and C represents that. And then this blue line, which is really very thin, will represent the element. So right here. You can see that first of all we have this section. And inside this section we have a column. And inside this column we have an element. So element can be anything. Element can be like a heading, element can be like a paragraph, an element can be like an image, an element can be like uh, animation boxes that uh, we will be adding on our website like this. So everything that is coming right here will be considered as element, whether it is this, whether it's a button, whether it's a heading, whether it's an image, or whether it's an icon box. Everything will be considered as an element. So now, basically, the number one thing is basically the section. And inside this section, you can add a column, and inside that column, you can add multiple elements. Now, here comes one thing. An element can be stacked under the other element or above the element, which means that inside this section, you can see I have a column, and inside this column, I have two elements, so I can do it like that. Like, inside this column, I have one element, and then I have two element. Let's take a look at it. First of all, what I want you guys to do is to make sure that you install the Elementor page builder and then you are in the Elementor page builder on your home page. Now once you will be on your home page, make sure that there is nothing in your home page should look like this. So first of all, what we need to do is that we need to add a section. And what we will do, we will just click on this plus button over here and the section is added in the background. Now it's telling you that how many columns you want to add. So we want to add a one single column so that we can add elements in it. So what we will do is that we will just select that we want to add one single column. And right here you can see that this blue line that is coming will represent the section and this dotted line that is coming will represent the column. And then in here, you can add elements inside this. So let's take a look at it. If I want to get the heading, I'm gonna drag the heading and I'm gonna drop it. And you can see that the heading has been headed here. Same like this, what I can do is that I can add a paragraph, I can just drop it, and this is gonna be added here. But let's suppose that I want this heading to be here, and then I want some other elements right here before that. Like, let's suppose that I need an image to be right here, but I can only stack the image either below any element or above any element. Like, which means that I can only add elements vertically. I cannot add the elements horizontally. And here comes the part of the column. So if you want to add anything horizontally, then you can add two columns like this. You can see that inside a section, you can add two columns into it and you can design something like this. So inside this section, I have one column. In this column, I have an image and the other column, I have a heading, I have a paragraph coming. So let's take a look at it. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to just click cross on it and I'm going to just uh, click on this sign right here and I'm going to say that I need two columns. Now here you can see I have two columns. Now what I will do is that in the first column I will drag an image, I will drop it 
and here now I can upload the image but I will not show you how to upload it we will be just understanding it later on this is this video is just only for understanding about sections columns and elements that's it you do not have to worry about styling how to style it how to do different type of things we will be talking about them later on and then in here I can drag a heading just click this button over here that says this so that you can go into the elements page and you can drag anything else over here and now right here I can add a paragraph and then I can just select all I can copy I can paste 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 and paste and now you can see that my structure right here is that I have an image and then in here I have a heading and then I have a paragraph and same goes with this like I have a section and inside this section I have a column and inside this column I have an image and in the other column I have a heading and then I have a sentence or I have a paragraph now let's take a look at this if I just click on it and I just uh, open up my Elementor editor first of all I have this section the blue this blue thing represents the section alright and then inside this section I have a column this when I bring my mouse to it you can see that the column is right here and this dotted line that is coming represents the column and then this other column which is coming right here represents this so what have we learned so far we learned one thing basically two things is that elements can be stacked over one another vertically which means that you can add an element and then right below that or right above that you can add another one or what you can do is that you can also add any other element in between them but if you want to add uh, elements side by side then you need to work with the columns because columns can work horizontally which means that you can stack columns horizontally you can even just change their spacing so let me show you like you can see that if I need the image to be much smaller I'm gonna just hover my mouse to this and you can see this sign right here I'm gonna drag this and I'm gonna just do it like this and now you can see how this column is, is much more shorter and how this column is much more bigger so this is how you can even do it same like this you can add multiple columns so that your columns can look like this like you can add one column two column and three column and you can do it like that so let's suppose that I need to add one more column what I will do is that I will right click on this column and here it says add new column I'm gonna click on it and I have another column and here I can add pretty well anything like let's suppose that I want to add uh, Google Maps I'm gonna drop it right here and here will be the Google Maps I can just add the address and here will be the Google Map coming so I can even do it like this now let's go ahead and let's move back to the first part where we understand it about the section so section section is basically a part of a website that means that in the section what you can do is that you can add particularly anything so let's take a look at this website that we will be building as our second project for this particular course so here you can see that this is how the website will look like and here this is actually a one section this is actually another section and this is actually an other section that we have over here so inside this section now here you can see that inside this section we have a column which is right here and inside this column we have a text element and we have another text element stacked over one another now what is this this is basically a section and inside this section we have four columns which is this this and inside this column we have a text element so this is how basically it's working same like this this is a section and inside this section we have one column and then we have another column and then we have another column so here we we have basically three columns and this is how it's looking now you have noticed one thing let me show you what if I just open up this website and then I just cross it right here and then I want to add a one single column now here you can see that this section takes the full width of the page however the column is just like that now let me show you what I mean 
Basically, you can see that the section takes the full width of the page and the column takes uh, just like a limited bit of page. Now, this is great in terms of websites, like if a website is viewed on a large screen, then if you are having, if you are using a background image, then you can upload that background image to a section so that it won't matter. However, the text should be aligned in such a way that it should be uh, using that. So let me show you. Like you can see that when I just tr uh, drag and drop, just I d do it like this. So you can see that my content, everything that's been right here is just like aligned this way. So you can see that everything is aligned this way. Now if I just bring my mouse above here, so you can see how everything is working. Now this is actually the column. The section can stretch and in the section you can add a background color and in the section you can just e either keep it to be white and in the section you can even add a background image. And mostly the sections contain the background images so that even if a website is viewed on a large screen device, then it would not matter. But the content of the column is actually this way so that the column sizing is universal for whole website so that the website view is not changed. And you can see how great this website is looking. Same goes with the Elementor because is in the Elementor, the section is actually the full width. However, the column is actually the size that you can work with. You can just click on this edit column and you can work with the column width, like how much you need. And uh, you, you can pretty well work with it, but we will be talking about that later on in this, in the detail. First, we have to understand the section and column. So now let's go ahead and let's take a look at another one. Now here you can see that first of all, we have this section and then we have another section. Now sections can be stacked vertically. Now what have we learned so far? Elements can be stacked vertically, which means that after an element, you can add an element. The column can be stacked horizontally. That means that right after this column, you can add a column and you cannot add a column uh, below any column. So you can just add a column beside a column, but you can add elements beneath an element or above the element. Same goes with the section. And the section is that after the section, you can add another section that will come right after this. You cannot have sections like this section and then another section right here. You cannot do it this way. Let's have a look at that. So you can see that first of all, I have a section and inside this section, I'm going to get a heading right here and right down below. Now I can add another section and in this section, I can have a two column and in the first column, I can have an image and in the second one, I can have a text and I can have a paragraph right down below. So you can see that uh, this is how it's working. Now I have two sections. First I have this section and then I have this section. Now you can see if I want to edit this section, I can edit it. And for the editing purposes, we will be having a separate video. So do not worry about it. But what we wanted to learn is that first you can have a section and then right after that you can have a section. And same is happening with our this website. We have a section and after that we have another section and after that we have another section and inside that we are having columns so do not worry about it. But let's take a look at something which is this. Can you just add columns vertically as well? Like let's suppose that if we want to add a section and inside this section, we want to add column, 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 like columns can be stacked horizontally, but can the columns be stacked vertically? Let's go ahead and let's test it out. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to just close this and I'm going to add just like three columns. Now you can see that the three columns are right here, but let's suppose that I want to add another column right down below. Can I do that? If I just go ahead and I just click add new column, the column will be stacked horizontally. I cannot just bring the column down below. I can just change its position to right, left, right, left, 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 left. 
I can do it like that, but I cannot just do up down. So how can you do that so that your column can look like this and we can achieve a design like this? So you can see that I have columns and then I have columns. So if I want to achieve a design like this, how I'm going to do that? So you can see this is actually a section. And then inside this section, I have a column. And inside this column, I have this. And then I have this right here. So how can we basically achieve this design? Let's take a look at this. Now, there are two solutions for that. Let's take a look at them and let's understand them. What you can do is that you can create two sections like this section and then this section. And then in this section, you can have three columns. And in this section, you can have three columns and then you can design it to be looking like this. All right, so let's take a look at that and let's understand how it's gonna work. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just cross this. I'm gonna create a new section with three columns. And then in these columns, what I'm gonna do is that uh, I'm gonna uncheck this pro right here and I'm gonna get this icon box right here and I'm gonna drop it right here. So you can see that in this website, we are actually using the icon box, all right? So this is right here. Now what I'm gonna do is that uh, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna duplicate this icon box. I'm gonna duplicate this icon box and I have three icon boxes over here. Now I'm gonna drag this icon box over here and I'm gonna drag this icon box over here. So now you can see that this is how it's looking. But um, if I want to add another column into it, then I cannot drag this column right down below. And the tweak to that is that what you can do is that you can add a new section with the same three columns again. And then what you can do is that you can go ahead and you can duplicate it and you can just drag it right here. Then you can go ahead and you can duplicate it then you can drag it right here and then you can go ahead and you can duplicate it and then you can drag it right over here. So uh, then this is basically achieved in a way. So like you can have two sections and inside this section, you can have multiple elements onto it. And then what you can do is that you can achieve this design in a way. But let's suppose that if we wanted to build it this way. Let's suppose that if we want to achieve this design, then how are we going to achieve this design? So you can see this is actually a section. Then inside this section, we have a column. And inside a column, we how are we going to basically design this? So for that, here comes a tweak and that is called the intersection. So how does the intersection works? This will really confuse you guys. Don't worry, just open up your mind. Uh, just watch and see what I am doing, all right? So basically you can see that I have a section and inside this section, I have a column and then I can add an intersection and then I can add multiple columns into it. Let's take a look at this. Let's suppose that we want to achieve this. So first of all, what we will do is that we will create a section. Let's go ahead and let's do that. What I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna click on it. I'm gonna get rid of everything. I'm gonna first create a section with a single column, all right? And now you can see that this section is created. Now what I need is that I need two columns so that the text can be in here and the this boxes can be in here. So what I would do is that I would need to add two columns. So what I will need to do is that I will say that I want to add a new column. And now in here, uh, there should be a text and then there should be a, a text editor down below and then I need a button. All right, so I need it this way. Now I'm gonna just do it like this. Now, what I want is that I want two columns right here. I want two columns and then I want two columns as well. So which means that I want this and then I want this and then I want this and then I want this. So how am I going to go ahead and how I'm going to do that? And here comes a tweak and that tweak is here is actually an intersection. So intersection can be added inside a column 
and when you add it, you get a section and you also get two columns by the default. So now what you can do is that you can get an icon box over here and you can get an icon box over here and then you can just go ahead and you can duplicate this inner section so you ultimately get icon box and icon box. Now here you can see that we have ultimately achieved this type of design. So this is what I actually wanted to show you. Now I hope that uh, your confusion is a little bit clear. Now let's take a look at them. Let's overview everything and then we're gonna end this video and then we will be working up uh, with our styling for the Elementor basics. Now, a section is the one that is the most important thing. Inside a section, there should be a column and inside a column, there can be any element. Now, elements can be stacked over one another, but elements cannot come as a side by side. And if you want elements to be added side by side, then you should be adding columns and the columns can be added horizontally and you can add multiple stuff into it. So if you want to build this design, then you can add two columns. Inside the column, you can add an element and then in here, you can add an element and element right here and you can achieve design this way. Now, you can have multiple columns and the columns can only be stacked horizontally, which means that the column, column, column can be added this way, but column cannot come right down below. If you want to achieve this design, then you have two options. Either you can create two sections and add columns into it, or you can create a section, add a column, and then you can add an inner section and add multiple columns to it, and then you can add an inner section and add multiple columns to it to achieve this particular thing. Now I hope that you have got a clear idea of how everything worked so far. So from the next video, we will learn the basic styling of Elementor. And after that, we will be going ahead and we will be designing this website. So stay tuned guys and bye-bye.